Hello everyone and welcome to the unboxing video of the T1000E. First of all, thank you for your interest and anticipation. When you receive the package, it will look like this. You can scan the QR code on the label or check your email for the user guide and our contact information. Now, let's open it up. Inside, you will see a Tracker T1000E and a 4-pin Campbell. On the front of the T1000E, you will see a button, an LED, and a buzzer, while the back has a 4-pin magnetic charging port. Inside, there is a PCBA and a 700mAh battery. We will use an onboard antenna. The device is rated IP65 and its car side design makes it perfect for outdoor use. So, how do you use the T1000E? First, we need to find and download the Mesh Testing app from the App Store. Once you open the Mesh Testing, you can start using it without the need to register or log in. Next, press the button to turn on the T1000E. Wait for about 5 seconds until the buzzer sounds and the LED lights up for 0.5 seconds. The LED will start flashing, indicating that the device is working properly. Then, you will see a Bluetooth pairing request pop up on the screen. Please note, if no other device around you and powered on, the device name that appears will be your T1000E. For example, my device name is MeshTastic6334. In the future, we will update the MAC address on the back of the T1000E, with the last 4 digits serving as the device ID to make it easier to find your device. Next, enter the default PIN code 123456 and click Next. Now, the device is connected to the mesh network. The firmware version is 2.4.2. Please note, the device comes with a stable firmware version, so do not upgrade the firmware at the first step until the device has been working good. After that, follow the prompts to set the raw region. The T1000E supports A63 928 MHz. So, in the region section, select the European Union A68 MHz and click Save. Each time you configure the device, it will automatically restart and reconnect to your phone. All you need to do is wait for the T1000E buzzer to sound and the LED to light up for 0.5 seconds. Just like that, the T1000E is successfully configured. Okay, I brought another T1000E with the same configuration, and its device name is MeshTastic 52B2. Now, we wait for the node to discover each other. See, MeshTastic 52B2 has appeared in my node list. Then, I go to the message menu, select the direct message, find the MeshTastic 52B2 and send the primary message saying hello. Great, the message was received. I replied with hi. Yes, the two T1000E device has successfully communicated. Returning to the message screen, if you click on channel, you will notice a primary channel. And this can be understood as a public group. Device in mesh network that set to the same frequency and channel can connect here. So I send a message 1 from device 6334. And you will see the device 52B2 also received the 1 in the primary channel. That's how message sending works. If you notice that the device is running low on battery, you can use the provide 4-pin charging cable to charge it via the magnetic port on the back. The LED will switch to a pattern of lighting up for 0.5 seconds and then turning off for 0.5 seconds, indicating that the device is charging. If you no longer wish to connect to the device, simply swipe left on the node in the Bluetooth screen within the app and select Disconnect. This will allow others to connect the device. If you want to stop using the device, press and hold the button for 5 seconds until you hear the buzzer sounds like this. 
This indicates that the T1000E has been powered off.